Okay, I've made some decisions about this. I've darkened this hull down here, the side of the boat, for two reasons. Uh, the sun is coming from here, so it probably wouldn't hit this side of the boat. It would hit this side of that boat, so this dark pops that out. And let's change the shape of that just a little bit. That's a little better. And I put a shadow in for this guy here. Now that'll be fun to do in watercolor painting. And how about on the side of this boat, we shadow that out a little bit. So now that's also going to punch up the concept of the light hitting this. Let's make this more of a solid. And let's make this guy a solid. Okay, so now we have our two. And let's make the water a mid value. And we can punch up the top of that boat. Maybe this is Portugal where they have, they have those big, whatever those are called at the front of the boat. I, I should learn these if I'm going to paint them. Now that's better already. And it looks like I'd probably be able to paint that a lot easier this way than it was before. So I think we've, well, I'm looking it into the camera now and I'm not liking, we have a little bit of what's called the tangent. This spot here is kind of lining up with that. So we got to fix that somehow. So let's move that over. I wonder if that helps. Let's see. Well, maybe. And let's also add some darker values. Well, let's see where we where do we really want our dark value? Where do I really want you to look? Will it be down here? Heck, it's only paper. It's only paper. And how about we kind of melt that into the shadow? Oh, that's kind of interesting. And what if we make that shadow kind of come over there as well? Let's see, would that... Huh. On land. Mm -hmm. Got a little variety in here. Not too much because that's. Uh, I want you to see this is far away. These are. Well, what kind of city is this? That's another decision we'd have to make. Are those modern buildings? Is this Ireland? You know, those could be trees in another painting. Uh, now we got New York City skyscrapers back here. Okay. And maybe another mast over here. And we could put it in. Uh, another vertical. Can't go wrong with verticals. Brings your eye up. And you got one, two, three, and it probably. Not a good idea to have those equally spaced like that. Okay. So we have diagonal, diagonal. How about a diagonal going this way? Maybe a little shadow hanging over the roof like that. A little bit of interest back here, but not too much. And some stuff back there. Now, a little bit of the water darkness going into that to lead your eye and also reflect ripples or little waves. And I think that's it. I think we're done. You don't want to make this too complicated. Let's do a value uh, watercolor of this, and we'll see you in the next little mini video. Thanks a lot.